Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for September 2nd to the 8th. This is for Capricorn, Capricorn Rising, and Capricorn Moon, and you know we're going to jump right into it, Capricorn. Hey, 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 hey. We are here, the big new moon in Virgo. This one's going to be uh, really nice and special for you, uh, but I want you to remember the day before, September 1st, as I mentioned in your monthly forecast, Uranus and Pluto are going retrograde, and I really want you to pay attention to this because you could feel some really big impact in the ground running right off the bat of the month, okay? These are going to be very pivotal retrogrades. Uranus going retrograde back into Taurus, uh, and the bookends, as I mentioned, are really strong. So this is your fifth house of love, relationships, creativity, self-expression, children, procreation, uh, recreation. So there could be something here, even like a radical shift. I mean, this is Uranus, okay? And I'm going to explain why it's it's going to be a little bit stronger. Uh, you know also that Pluto is going retrograde out of Aquarius back into your sign. So this is significant. This is going to be here for the next few months. You've been on this journey with Pluto in your sign since 2008. You're wrapping things up now, okay? You're possibly setting up these new systems in your life, uh, maybe even new structures, but you're going to see it play out. The other thing I want you to remember is Venus is in Libra all week. Venus is in her domicile. She loves being here. It's wonderful. It's fun, very social. This is your 10th house. There's some love going around in terms of career, public recognition, fame, honors, achievements. Really wonderful. Lastly, Mercury is no longer retrograde. Mercury has gone direct, so we love that. Okay, Mercury's still in shadow, but no longer retrograde. Now, Monday, September 2nd, we do have the new moon in Virgo. It's going to be happening late, my time, around 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so depending on where you live, it you know, adjust it to your time zone. It could be September 3rd pretty early in the morning, but even still, you want to set intentions during the new moon again around 10 p.m. my time. Now, it's happening at 11 degrees. What's really interesting about this is that 11 degrees, that's linked to Aquarius, all right? So uh, this is why I was talking about that Uranus energy. Uranus is Aquarius's ruling planet. So you have that strong breakthrough energy. Um, you really could feel it around the first and the second around this time, all right, with with uh, the 11 degrees here. Uh, and also don't forget Uranus is going to trine Pluto in your sign, huge, major. Like you're, you're going through change. You're going through change, and we'll obviously talk a little bit more about this as, as we progress throughout the month, um, but just consider this big breakthrough, especially with you, uh, your purpose, your everything about you, all right? Uh, it's it's it Pluto's back in your sign. Um, now, uh, so the new moon in Virgo at 11 degrees, 11 is... Uh, uh, See, it's happening on 9-2, on right? September 2nd. That's 9-2. 9 plus 2 equals 11. New moon in Virgo, 11 degrees. Okay, 1 plus 1 obviously equals 3. Just kidding. It is 2. And I'm going with 2 because I know 11 is a master number. It's a, really a high vibration of the number 2, but I'm going with 2 because it's happening on the second. And then also 2 is uh, uh, linked to the moon. Uh, two is also very feminine energy. Virgo is a very feminine sign. The moon is very feminine. And so you, if, if you want to go with 11, that's uh, totally fine. But I'm going with two here. And uh, two is, uh, you know, intuition, empathy, sensitivity, creativity. You're going to feel a lot of this. Again, very feminine energy. In fact, the etymological root of Virgo is the virgin, the maiden. So that feminine energy is going to be really strong. Uh, it is known for purity, purity of self, a lot of self-care. That is why Virgo is known to rule health and and, and self-healing and whatnot. So you're going to have a lot of activity here, especially because Virgo rules your ninth house of spirituality, of the higher mind, and even education. There could be something new that you're learning, a course you're enrolling in, maybe going back to school. There's a, a lot here. Ninth house is also publishing, broadcasting. Those could be big themes that come up around this time. You could start writing a book 
as you said, writing a big old book on your life on how Pluto and Capricorn for the past 13, 14 years has made an impact on your life. Whatever it is, ninth house is also long distance travel, foreign cultures, foreign lands. All right. But there is a sense of taking care of yourself and, and really beginning this new harvest, right? Virgo season harvest. Uh, it's associated with harvest. So there's this new storyline and I, I really want you to set intentions here. This is powerful. You could be seeing things in a whole new way, a whole new way around this time. Virgo also rules routines, the day to day. You could be falling into this new routine. Virgo rules work, your duties and responsibilities. So you could be in this new rhythm when it comes to work or even just your daily schedule. All right. Especially, you know, health, healing and habits and harvest, all the H's are really big themes with Virgo season. So uh, research and details really a bit big Virgo trait, by the way. So you could really be going deep into thinking about what is going to be supporting my health and well-being and mental wellness and, and all of that, okay? It could be the fact that you go out and you buy a Peloton. Maybe you research a lot into it. Maybe you think about different kind of vitamins you want to take. Maybe you think about joining a gym. Remember, it's a new moon uh, or a Pilates studio, whatever it is. Again, there is going to be some focus on health for you around this time. I think a lot of it's going to be spiritual health. So you could be you know very curious about crystals and what not anyway uh i cut processed sugar from my diet last virgo season so again anything it's all about self-care and things that are uh helping you now the other thing is that it is uh, known as service to others virgo is known as service to others so helping others you could find yourself helping others around this time because remember sure it's a new moon but we're still in virgo season too so a lot of virgo energy around this time really being that you know, people person in terms of going out, supporting others, especially, if, you know, with colleagues, with family, friends, whatever it is, just being very emotionally driven around this time. But just think support and really, really being there for others and helping others. I have a Virgo moon, by the way. <laughs> my moon is in Virgo and, you know, my chart. I love helping others. So anyway, uh, set intentions, set intentions. OK, now and you could be planning some big trips, by the way, or taking them uh, long distance trips. Now, the other thing is so uh, Saturn. Yeah, Saturn's going to be opposite the new moon and the sun, as I mentioned in your monthly forecast. You know, listen, and you've been working with Saturn's energies and it just may feel that, you know, the path that you're on is getting a little bit steeper and steeper and steeper. Maybe there's like a mosquito or two, but listen, you got a great sunset to catch at the top of the hill. You got, uh, you got Beyonce handing out lollipops up there. You're going to make it to the top. Okay. Saturn is just that little squeeze. All right. But you see it's, it, you know, the opposition is going to happen on uh saturday here so saturn's really put on like his aviators at this point just work with his energies remember saturn is also karma it it, it rewards you saturn rewards you in fact at the end you know in a few weeks mars was uh, gonna try and saturn and then the week after that venus is gonna try and saturn so again you are going to be rewarded as long as you work with you know saturn's rules at this time now uh, I mentioned in your monthly forecast that uh, Mars is going to square Neptune on the day of the new moon. Neptune and Saturn, they're both in Pisces in your third house of communication, of writing, researching, thinking uh, new things, curious about new things, also travel. So there's really some travel stuff, big travel stuff for Capricorns at this time. Remember Mars squaring Neptune, uh, you know, I would pay attention to this. It's just knowing your reality. Remember, Neptune brings that fog. I talk a lot more about this in your monthly forecast. Uh, just cut through that fog, okay? There may be a little bit fog on your, you know, climb up to the top of the mountain to see Beyonce handing out lollipops, but uh, you're going to get through it. Just cut through it. Know your truth. Know your reality. Be your authentic self. You're going to be fine. Now, Wednesday, September 4th. Wow, Mars is moving into Cancer. Woo, this is big. Uh, I... <sighs> Okay, this is big because Mars is going to be in Cancer all September. 
and all of October. Yes, that is right. And Mars is in its fall. And that's not it. Mars is then going to go retrograde in January 2025. So whatever happens around this time, you're coming back to in the beginning of the year. And we'll obviously talk about that later. But Mars is going to be in Cancer and Leo for like eight months, pretty much. It's it's kind of crazy. Um, but anyway, because of the retrograde. But Mars and Cancer, Cancer is your opposite sign. This is partnerships and relationships. So you're going to have a really big focus on partnerships, relationships, commitments, maybe even marriage. Uh, the fact that you have this new moon in your ninth house there could be I mean, a lot of y'all could be getting married to be honest or you could be signing agreements uh there is also maybe something with legal matters as well with this new moon in virgo for you anyway mars and cancer is in its fall like i said mars is uh our cancer is like i you know just want to be home i want to be with my family i want to be nurturing loving and so keep that in mind because as i mentioned mars and cancer it just you know People can be extra sensitive around the time of Mars and Cancer. They could also, you know, emotions could be heightened. You want to have emotion controlled actions around the time when Mars is in Cancer. It's just a little bit more sensitive, but there are benefits to Mar Mars and Cancer. Uh, a lot of emotional growth. You're already going through spiritual growth with all this Virgo energy. So that's great for you, Capricorn. The other thing is, is uh, you may have a bigger focus on uh, security and protection for home, for, for family, uh, really big energy around family and, and your loved ones. Okay. Your loved ones. So uh, big emphasis on partnerships though. <laughs> it is it within your commitment sector, partnerships, relationships. And of course that can be work. That can be work, uh, and, and career as well, uh, whatever resonates with you. Uh, but just remember it, Mars and cancer is a little touchy feely. Uh, cancer is the crab has the pinch they can come out remember Mars and cancer is for the collective so you may find other people being a little bit more you know sensitive and and, and emotional but again there may be an emphasis on partnerships relationships for you now September 6 Mercury will square Uranus this is it okay we've already got two of these pretty much the last one here the Uranus square just you know unexpected news comes up with Mercury squaring Uranus but uh, you're going to be fine. It's in your fifth house. So it could be something with like creativity. You could actually have this breakthrough. Remember Uranus is breakthroughs, freedom, all of that, right? Really progressive pioneering. Um, so you could have this big creative breakthrough in terms of self-expression. All right. And there also could be a breakthrough here with uh, anything that has to do with love, relationships, children, everything that I mentioned earlier. All right. Now, uh, Saturday, September 7th, the sun will be opposite Saturn. Pay attention to this. All right? Remember, it's already happening around the new moon. Like you're already feeling that energy. Like I said, you've been working with these Saturn oppositions and these Saturn squares. This is the Sun in Virgo opposite Saturn in Pisces. All right. Remember what I said. The Pisces Virgo axis is going to be activated 2025. That's where the uh, the uh, the lunar nodes are moving. And so from this new moon. And then the eclipse, the full moon lunar eclipse we're going to have in Pisces a week from now, two weeks from now, uh, whatever happens this month, it's really giving you a preview of 2025 where you're going to be in your life. So you want to take action. You want to take control. You want you control your reality. All right. So pay attention to this. There may be something you're adapting to around this time. It could be some sort of communication. It is a time not to be self-critical. Don't be hard on yourself. That's what sun opposite Saturn wants, you know, and also remember to be responsive, not reactive. Remember Mars is in cancer. Emotions can be heightened, but this this is really, you know, this, these are two mutable signs. It's adapting to change. You could even be recognizing, um, there is, you know, like the path that you're on is the one that you want to be on, or maybe there is a different path you want to be on, but there is possibly something where you're going to recognize something, uh, because this again, it's, it, you know, your third house, but third house is also, you know, intellect. It's, processing things but it's also uh siblings aunts uncles cousins neighbors so there could be something here where you know there is a little bit of a you know not seeing eye to eye with you know a brother sister aunt uncle um but either way remember 
be responsive, not reactive. You're going to be fine. Stay frosty. Saturn rewards you. All right. So uh, Saturn is karma. Let's get started. And you're ruling planet, by the way, Capricorn. So uh, just again, this is going to be a really big week for you. So, uh, Capricorn, let's see what's going on for you. All right. For uh, September 2nd to the 8th for Capricorn, Capricorn rising and Capricorn moon. All right. And if you want to read for any other placements in your chart, oh, go for it. Go for it. You are absolutely welcome to. So Capricorn, let's do it. All right. Capricorn, I uh, do a traditional cult across spread. It offers the best overview, especially for a weekly reading. If we need to pull clarifiers, Capricorn, you know that we will. Secondly, Capricorn, y'all are amazing. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having a wonderful week. I hope that, you know, you're really excited for uh, September coming up. Then this new moon. Let's let's see what's going on. Okay. Look at you. Look at you go. Look at you go. Wow. Wow. Look at all this blue. All this neutrality. Uh, but also, like, I'm feeling a lot of, like, getting wiser. You know, let's, let's get started. Um, boom. You got the Ace of Cups uh very special very special you know that's very special we you know the heart of tarot right here the holy grail this uh, is indicating yeah you could have come into something that you really love it could have been uh, like i said some of y'all could be getting married this is a card where your emotions are just completely overflowing with joy it's like it kind of looks like tears right the water is coming out of the cup it looks like that but tears of joy this is very special all right there is, again because there is part partnership activity activated for you there could have been a new partnership you know you even see the dove at the top of the cup here you know it's a universal symbol of peace and harmony but doves mate for life all right so uh energy with baby is anybody having a baby there could be some like baby energy if not you someone in your family someone you know but there is something that's brought you a lot of joy and remember i dropped these readings a little bit earlier before the week so it depends on when you watch a reading it could still be to come and again it can be you know cups are emotions feelings love intuition it could even just be you having this moment of like oh my goodness you know the energies of august were just ah but i know what i want and uh everything's happening for me but this is truly like rapturous it's nirvanic it feels really 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 special really good but there is something absolutely new happening for you with this new moon in virgo that is again in your ninth house spirituality higher mind the way you see things so things are your world is opening up in this huge way because you got the queen of pentacles in the heart of your spread Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn. I hope you uh, know that. You can even see the seagull, your symbol here in her throne. A uh, lot of references with the Queen of Pentacles to the magician, by the way. So there's this sense of uh, feeling that energy that's begun, this power of manifestation, and it's now just you're so grounded in it uh she is the richest queen a lot of wealth here but the uh, biggest energy that's coming through is this trust this trust in yourself this sense of trust in everything working out for you being able to build the world that you want to live in uh, uh with the resources that you have i love this i love this and when i said the you know reference to the magician you even see the you know, roses at the top here, as you see in the magician card, card one, and, you know, the major arcana, even her, uh, you know, gown, red and white, like the magician. Anyway, but wow, you're moving into this wealth and abundance. You're going to feel it this week. You're going to feel it. And it could have been this new thing that happened for you or will happen for you. And remember, pentacles are your physical reality. So your physical world, there could just be, you know, this sense of so much joy and being proud of how far you've come and remember i said with virgo season in general you're gonna feel you know virgo is it vibrates really great with with capricorn being your bff fellow earth sign there but this is sense of service to others she has such a maternal side to her uh and that's the other thing about you know this new moon in virgo with virgo season with the moon too you know they're very associated with i said feminine energy but also they have that maternal quality there could be a lot of mom energy coming up it could be you being in touch with your mom or a maternal figure or the mom and you coming out and just uh you know taking care of the little hands uh but you're you're great now you have the queen of cups in your um challenge area so you 
yeah, there could be someone that is you're going to be maybe not seeing eye to eye with this week that could feel a, a, like I said, pinchers are coming out <laughs> with Mars, which is exalted in your sign, Capricorn. But either way, uh, pinchers are coming out. Uh, OK. And uh, they they it, it, this is just someone who could be a little mean girls, Regina George energy maybe passive aggressive maybe just uh someone who is uh not somewhat like their emotions are a little like all over the place so just keep that in mind remember you want to support people and and you want to be in that place where you're in a good place and there's you know the energies maybe off with this other person again it can be a, a sibling it can be a significant other whatever resonates with you just keep an eye on that because you're going to have this sense of like, let me take care of you. Let me, what's, let, what's going on? Let's actually talk about this. So that's uh, going to be nice. And, you know, for a lot of y'all, it, you know, uh, it could be a little bit of you if you feel that a lot of things are, uh, you're feeling that Saturn squeeze. Remember, Saturn is a ruling planet. So there may be, you know, a possibility where you are just a little, right? With the, and by the way, the Queen of Cups is Cancer. And so remember, Mars in Cancer and your seventh house of partnerships and relationships. So it can be with a partnership relationship. It can be, you know, a boss. It can be your lover, whatever it is. But just be mindful of that heightened energy is all I'm saying. Now, uh, you got the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Wands. And that's why I'm saying it. You got the Eight ones in your crown and there's a sense of like yes like everything lining up for me and and a lot of y'all are going to feel it a lot of y'all are going to want it your passions creativity it's this even like health matters is coming up again there's something that you could be really grooving to did i really just say that i don't know i did didn't i uh and you know it, it's just something that is like maybe a new workout routine or a new diet whatever it is but uh work especially when you look at your your entire spread here okay Okay, uh, where there is this disconnect between the eight of wands, which is whoosh, whoosh, like amazing, right? Everything lining up for you, a lot of action, a lot of movement. But then in the rear spread, it's the ten of wands where it's a little like slower, like he he's kind of going at a snail's pace because he's carrying so many wands so many wands. All right. But it is the end where, you know, ten is the end of the suit. One zero equals one. So all of this, just don't take on too much. Don't take on too much and be more present in your physical world. Be aware. That's what enlightenment is. It's in the now. All right. So this, you can see he's carrying so many wands, he can't see where he's going. Drop a wand or two. Okay. Do, you know, uh, you may feel a little bit of just uh, because this card is associated with like, burnout burden maybe even taking on more than you should capricorns you are known to be workaholic so you're going to be fat just you know embrace your the all the wealth and, and and wonderful things that are happening in your life and be present for those things okay uh you have the two of swords in your future big decision it seems like that you may have to think about okay uh and it could be you know looking at what's happening here there it really could be because it could be just adjusting to something new that's happening in your life. Uh, but there may be some things you don't want to let go, you know? Um, and so uh, you may have to just make this big decision in order to do that. You got to go within. All right. You can see, you know, her, is she sitting here with a blindfold on? She got her two swords at her shoulders. Those swords are heavy. Those swords are heavy. They're good. You're going to have to make it. You're going to drop them. You're going to have to make a decision soon, okay? But go within to take that time. But you see the moon and the sea. Her back is turned to both. So she's not trusting her intuition. She's not in touch with her emotion. So take that moment, all right? There's a little bit of resistance here, okay? With the Ten of Wands and the uh, Two of Swords. So you definitely spend that time going within. It's going to really help. Trust your intuition, okay? Your instincts are going to help. I mean, you know, I'll clarify some of these. You got the Four of Swords. You got the King of Pentacles. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, so remember I said Saturn's going to reward you. You're going to be rewarded. That's going to be really great. Uh, Ten of Wands, remember I said, don't take on too much. Drop a wand or two if you need to. But just know if you are going through something that feels like it's really heavy, burdensome, you feel a little bit stuck, you know, 
it's going to end soon, okay? But you've got to be present for it. You got both. You got the pair, the king and the queen, okay? A uh, lot of, I mean, like, this is the, now we got the richest king, but he holds the golden scepter. And so there's only one of, uh, there's only two in people in Alatero that have that golden scepter in that hand. And it just, it basically means anything he touches turns to gold. He's got that power. He's got that, what is it? The golden Midas, the golden touch, the Midas touch, something like that. Uh, but this is really great. Okay. And I love this energy. I love this energy, masculine, feminine. This is really wonderful, really beautiful. So it's really moving into like everything harmonizing for you. And then you've got the four swords, which is the stillness of mind. All right. So it's another card saying, Go within. You got two cards and go within because that's going to make all the difference. Trust your intuition. This is a lot of even like meditation. Okay. Meditation. Remember I said there's that sense of service to others, but f for you too, self-care, mental care, physical care, all of that. Go within, have that moment, align your chakras, do everything that's going to help you make that decision moving forward. If you feel that you are stuck on a decision this week, let's get to your stop. Capricorn, oh my goodness. Uh, and listen, it can be with about a partnership or relationship, okay? Okay, just letting you know, these are two Libra cards. Libra is a native ruler of partnerships and relationships. And the fact that Libra is, South Node in Libra is, uh, you know, ha happening your 10th house. Uh, career. Yeah, it could be something about career that you got to think about. Okay, make that just, but you're gonna have to go within. That's gonna bring that calmness, that stillness in mind. That's gonna be, uh, let this gonna help you take out that blindfold, let you see everything, the truth, your truth, all of it. Uh, okay, Capricorn, uh, let's let, yeah, you're gonna be fine. Oh, Diane and Anderson, my line, if you like this reading, it would be great if you like, subscribe, leave comments. You know, you, you know, we love that. Um, I love hearing from you and you know, I love you. All right. So let's, you're good. You're absolutely good. Again, everything here is saying go within this, like you, you've got all this wonderful stuff happening in your physical world and you've got to go within and be present, you know, really be connected. Okay. Um, don't distract yourself. You got the six of cups here. Really wonderful. Sharing is caring. Remember I said supporting others that may be, uh, you know, a big theme for you this week, but just feeling really calm, feeling really good. And I think that a lot of y'all are going to be feeling that this week. All right. There is a lot of uh, home energy, but there's a sense of being selfless and uh, in the action of being selfless, you feel like more protected you can let your hair down all of that great energy okay now you also got <laughs> the sun in your external factors area so just think about the sun this driving life for force uh your purpose right just blasting all this wonderful energy into your life this week amazing amazing okay this is vitality. This is like great health too, by the way. It's, uh, you know, abundance, it's opportunities. There even is this sense of you going with it, you got this like rebirth energy. Remember Pluto has gone back into your sign where you are settling things up and then you're going to move forward. But I love this. I, I mean, you, you know, the sun is the biggest yes in tarot. So you are moving into this place that is fueled by all this optimism, everything happening for you. All right. Raising your frequency of uh, such great energy. You have the five of swords here, but you know where the five of swords lands. It's just saying that, well, two things here. You don't want you. Uh, it's like you're at a point where I don't want to be disagreeing with people. I don't want to, uh, you know, I want to harmonize. I want to harmonize. I want to hear other people's voices. I don't even want, I don't want to doubt myself anymore. I don't want to feel defeated. So uh, work with those energies. I mean, you've got the power of the sun. You've got the power of, you know, the four swords here. You've got a lot of great things here, but some of y'all may feel a little bit of like, okay, I've got to let this go. It may be, you know, hard for me to let this go or move forward in this space but you've got to you know spend that time really going within because you also got the hermit in your final outcome okay a, a really big sign saying go within and not only just go within and do that soul searching and 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 you know introspection and reflection i mean you got the hermit and the four swords here but it's also saying take care of yourself take care of yourself remember i said this is burnout energy 
So take care of yourself. Um, and, and it's all, you got all these answers inside you. If you've got these big questions, uh, this is really great. The hermit is actually attributed to Virgo. And so you got the hermit the week of the new moon in Virgo with the sun in Virgo, really great energy. And this is, uh, it does feel like, you know, some of y'all, again, if there is some doubts about your future or if you're worrying about your future, you're going to have all the answers inside you that's going to make you feel calm about it and pe at peace about it and know that everything that you want is going to go up the way that you want it to. All right. So really ground yourself. This is very grounding energy. Did I, m I mentioned wisdom earlier, right? I did, you know, the hermit all gray here. Okay. Gray in terms of wisdom. And, uh, again, you've got that, you've got that inside you, you've got that light inside you and, and, and let that light shine your Capricorn. Y'all are amazing. Uh, what a great week. What a great week. Yes. It seems like you're going to make a decision that's going to bring you peace of mind. So take that time going within going, going within to reflect But as you can see, really big week with the ace of cups. You got the sun here too. Oh my goodness. Like you're, you're good. Queen of Pentacles and the heart of your spread. What a great week. Uh, so thanks so much, Capricorn. Next week, we will talk about a lot of, uh, we'll go, we'll, we'll talk about that. Day. Well, there's, there's, there's some great stuff happening. We'll talk about that next week. Uh, if you like this reading, it would be great if you like, subscribe, leave comments, all that fun stuff and Capricorn, I'll see you next week. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.